Well, I finally finished my little shelf display hooking up the uh, hand laid turnouts that I would like to use for the civil engineering requirement of the NMRA's AP program. Uh, all of these turnouts were made using a fast tracks jig. In particular, this dual gauge HO HON3 uh, number six uh, turnout jig. They advertise it as being one of their most uh, versatile jigs, and it certainly is because with it you can make uh, standard gauge HO turnouts, uh, HON3 turnouts, and a bunch of different dual gauge turnouts, including the one that I did. This was the first turnout that I that I made, which is a left hand uh, standard gauge HO uh, turnout. They suggest that you make a few standard gauge uh, turnouts first and then um, a narrow gauge turnout and then finally go into the dual gauge turnouts, and I think that's good advice. Uh, all of the turnouts were made using microengineering code 70 rail. Um, the, the jig is made for microengineering rail, so you're, you're best off if you stick with that. So on this little uh, shelf, I have a couple of uh, standard gauge uh, HO turnouts that I made. Uh, in this case, there's two right-hand turnouts that are configured as a crossover. There's also this uh, HON3 uh, turnout, which again is a, a right-hand turnout. And then finally, this gauge separation turnout, which has a uh, dual gauge track on the uh, straight run. And then it has um, uh, the HON3 uh, separating from it, hence the name uh, gauge separation turnout. I sh have them being controlled right now with another Fast Tracks product, which is their uh, Bullfrog manual turnout control, which is works very well. Comes with a micro switch to power the frogs, uh, all for seven dollars. And if you buy them in quantity, I bought five of them. They're even cheaper than that. You do have to assemble them. They're they're laser cut. Uh, plywood. And the first one took me about a half hour and after that they got down to about 15-20 minutes. Very simple to put together. They work flawlessly. Uh, easy to mount underneath the layout. I'm going to just show uh, this little Davenport engine. It's a little uh, 30 ton side rod unit that is was made by Westside Models. So let's see how that runs through the hand laid turnouts. That's through the HON3 turnout. Let's go through the gauge separation turnout. I'll throw those, a couple of those uh, switches the other way. We'll see how it goes through the other routes. So first we'll go, there we go. And I'll bring it back through. And these little you know, four wheel units, especially the brass units, uh, require that you power the frog or else it would never get through there. And there we go. Now I have an even smaller brass engine that I'd like to try. This is a little, you put a quarter in here so you can see the size of it. It's a little 25-ton GE unit brass that was made by Mulvey Models. Let's see how that one operates. As you get older, the biggest challenge is just getting these on the track. Let's see if that has it. This is a surprisingly well-running little engine. 
You can he see how quiet it is, see how smooth it goes through the frogs. Again, it's essential that you have those frogs powered or it would never make it through. And there you go. So I'll get a couple guys up to evaluate this. All the rest of the requirements uh, are finished on the layout. Um, normally I, I am going to use these turnouts on the layout, but I just don't have that area ready and I would like to finish up this uh, certificate. And so that's why I mounted them on this shelf. And because I'm going to um, take these turnouts off of here and put them on the layout uh, over the next year, I decided I would not ballast these. There's plenty of linear feet of ballasting on the layout to satisfy the uh, civil engineering requirement. And that's it.